Jeremy from Atascacita has a question about gas coverage. Yeah, he got some of, one of these letters, and if you have gas, I mean, well, I've gotten natural the, gas. I've gotten those letters here. Yeah, you've gotten them. I know exactly and, what it and is. And then you know what happens next? You get you get one of these letters. Yeah, I got one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, and of course, and if you have a, a, a slightly twitchy wife where things like this are yeah. concerned, it becomes a subject of conversation. Well, we've had questions on the show about it. Well, Jeremy wants to know, are these legit, or should he keep his money? His house is only 10 years old, he says. Well, I mean, it's legit. And I want to say this. Uh, there's a lot of companies trying to create more income. One of the new trends right now, just as an example, <clears throat> are power suppliers that we buy electricity from. Mm -hmm. They're now offering home improvement uh, uh, warranties and stuff with Shut it, up. too. No, it's all being advertised. So companies are trying to increase their revenue. And this is a way for them to do it. Now, would I do it? No. Not on the gas lines. And I want people to think about this. How many times have you had to call someone in to fix a main gas line inside your home? I have had homes for... Way too many years, 40 or yeah. something. <laughs> Never in my career. Now, if I have to add an appliance, I want to do something like that, we call Abacus Plumbing. They add the gas line. But this is only for repairs, and it's very, very rare if at all it ever happens in a home. So I just don't think it's worth the money. But then I'm not a... a a warranty kind of buying a extended warranty guy. I just not. Yeah. I don't do that. I looked at it and I thought, you know, first of all, you should know how to turn the gas off to your home. You should. If you have gas coming to your home, I think it's reasonable that you should know how or, to do it. Now, wait a minute. If you don't and you smell gas, you leave. Yes. You go somewhere else. You call Centerpoint. They don't charge you to come and turn the gas off. No. They just don't want you hanging around smoking cigarettes right. in the house. Okay. Well, in so, fact, my, my in-laws had that problem. Okay. They had a, a, somebody was up in the attic doing some work and they nicked a... Put ah, this, that's this, different. <laughs> and and it, wasn't, like, it wasn't a lot of gas, but it was just enough. And Centerpoint, I'll tell you something. Sunday night, ten thirty. Boom! They were there in fifteen minutes. Oh no, they're they're an right. awesome company they're and they're on company. the ball. Yeah, and we're not, so it's not center point we're talking about. No, here. no, it's but you business. should just like do you know how to turn off water to your house? I do. <laughs> I do. Do you know how to turn off the gas to your house? Yes. That's something you should know. Okay. So and you turn it off, then you call a plumber. That's what you're saying. Yeah. If you have, if and here's the deal: if somebody nicks your pipe, it's yeah. not covered in that. No. If you want to add something to your lines or increase the size of it because you're putting in like a bigger on-demand water heater, not covered. That's not covered in right. there. It's only for something that's going to break, which usually doesn't. I think we said enough. I think we're ready for more questions. <laughs> yes, so send us some at homeshowradio.com using the Ask Tom form. We'll answer just like that one. Maybe even with props like that one, too. Or check these videos. See if we have.